yo this is girl talk and i'm just having a conversation with my sister right now and so i just need y'all not to judge me um too much or harshly Hello, beautiful people it is your girl angel and light and i am so so happy to be here with you guys yet again for another girl talk i know it's been a hot minute don't come for me y'all know i was doing my best trying to communicate what's been going on i mean Life is good, but life is still life. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you guys. No, Emmanuel and I purchased a house, and we also just recently got a new car. And when I tell you the testimony with that story, it's just all glory goes to God. I work for myself. I make a certain amount of money. We really rely on Emmanuel's salary in order to take care of us, and... God just did his thing. So if you want to know the story and the testimony on how we received our car and what happened and how it happened, stay, to, stay tuned to the end and I'll share that with you guys. But I just want to jump into this. I miss, I miss this. I miss talking to you guys here on my channel. I miss talking to you guys even on Instagram. I know I've been connecting with some of you guys on Clubhouse. Um, Y'all, hold on, I need to go get my water, like, that's how excited I am today, like, I literally came here without my water, and so I'm gonna go grab my water, grab yours, grab a paper, grab a pencil, grab a journal, um, let's just get into this girl talk, today I'm gonna be talking about, um, some just general things that I think us women, um, we should just start to consider and keep in mind when we go through our life. I know I started the reintroduction series and I do plan on continuing that with you guys. Um, I know I left some of y'all hanging, but to those of you guys who slid in my DMs and who were able to connect with me there, I love y'all. Even those in the comments, listen, my comments, listen, let me just, I'm going to go get my water. Um, give me one second. I'm just too excited to be here with you guys. And I'm sorry if this is a lot for someone, but guys, I love you so much. And I missed you guys. Like I really, really did. Let me go get my water. It ain't a party unless you got the jug of lugga. Okay. Let's just all, because I know I just came up on here, guns a blazing, super excited. Let's just take a couple deep breaths in and out because I need to calm down. Thank you, God. I'm just so grateful, God, to be here with my sisters. God, I pray that in this conversation, this girl talk, that we're able to just have a smile on our face as we listen. And even as I speak, oh God, I pray that your spirit will come down and show us how to be the best version of ourselves that you called and created us to be, God. Help us to let go of any titles or any things that we used to identi identify with, oh God, that's unlike you, oh God. Today I break off every demonic marker on my sister's lives in the name of Jesus. And I thank you, God, that we walk in divine authority because you have called us, oh God. And I thank you, Lord, for just being here with us. In Jesus' name, amen. Guys. <laughs> like I, can't, I don't know why I have so much joy I think it's because the weather is getting warmer where I'm at so here we are some of the things I wanted to talk to you guys today with this girl talk is about really knowing your season and knowing when it's time to like withdraw or retreat or even move forward so, a lot of you guys have been commenting, messaging me, checking up in, checking up on me, which I love so much. Um, nothing was really going on within, like, like, a negative space. It was more so, like, I needed to pull away for a certain period of time because I had to get my house in order. As you guys know, me and Emmanuel are rehabbing a house that we will be moving into, um... And that takes a lot. Um, I will show you guys my current office and how it looks. I don't know if I'll show it in this video, but I will show you guys because it is looking crazy. Um, but pretty much, I have to begin packing. I have to start packing. I have to start decluttering. I have to start, you know, getting our house in a position where when it's time to move, we can move with ease and I don't have to be stressed. Um, being that we are in the times that we are in, you can't really get as much help as you would think that you'd need help. Like, as many hands on deck, like, when it comes to moving. I know moving is one of those things where you're, like, you'll see your real friends and who really shows up for you. Um, but for me, I like to do prep work. And so I've been really 
trying to make sure I keep my house in order, keep my house um, functional while I begin to pack. It's just me and Emmanuel here, but we're always in and out. Like we travel from Rhode Island to Boston a lot because my mom's down there. I love seeing her. Emmanuel also works really closely with his mentor. Um, who, and this is a shameless plug because I love Patrick and Sabria. Um, they are the CEOs and owners of Norfolk Capital. They are the, um, company that's actually funding this rehab and so if you're a real estate investor check out emmanuel's page go over to norfolk capital's instagram they teach people on what they do and how they do what they do um it's pretty much hard money lenders but you guys go over there to see more information i'm not gonna um teach you guys that about that right now but if you are interested i really really do suggest you guys go over there go over there and check it out but yeah so i had to retreat and I'm looking around. I'm sorry. You guys know I love making direct eye contact. But I'm looking around. And I'm just seeing where I am right now. And I'm just like, wow, Lord. Like, <laughs> you got some work to do with me. Because <laughs> it's a lot. Um, being a young woman who's married. Um, an entrepreneur. Someone that works for herself. Someone that has to balance clients. As well as um, personal projects and products. Um, as well as even mentoring, there is a few women that reached out to me to be um, mentored by me, which I was kind of shocked and blown away. Um, and so I'm really trying to be prayerful on how I should move in that area because I don't want to be the type of person that takes on things in... I don't want to prematurely take on things that I'm not ready for. Um, so really submitting myself to God and really asking him and being in tune and making sure I'm making time for him so I can hear his voice and know what I need to do is super, super important. Um, so <clears throat> with all that being said, packing, being a good daughter, being a great wife, um, you know, being a good friend, like being available for my friends, um, really making sure that my boundaries are set and that I'm able to be both productive but still, you know, connected to my community and my village is really important to me. And so I say all this to say, sometimes you need to take a step back from some of the things that you love in order to create balance and even a better structure for your next season. I know I talk about um, showing up, being consistent, um, different things on how to grow yourself as a person. But not only that, to also grow as somebody that's on social media. Um, and I feel like sometimes we feel like we always got to be on. Like, oh, if you're not on social media, everyone's going to forget about you. If they do, they do. If they don't, they don't. All I know, I show up to YouTube, Instagram, and all of my other social media platforms for just one person. It could be a hundred one people. Like, you know what I mean? Like a hundred of that one person. Or it could literally just be one person. Um... There's so many amazing people that pour out encouragement every single day. And to say that you should only listen to one person over and over and over would just be, like, ridiculous to me. Um, me taking a step back from YouTube for a little bit and even Instagram just so I can really look at all the things that I had in front of me and take care of all of those things was my important part. Because I can't be the person that you guys need me to be if I'm not taking care of the things that I have to take care of on the back end, which is my husband, which is myself, um, my home, my family, um, especially my relationship with God. Um, sorry for saying um so much, but y'all, as I said earlier, I'm super excited and I, I don't want this video to be like crazy but y'all this is girl talk and i'm just having a conversation with my sister right now and so i just need y'all not to judge me um too much or harshly um but that's your business and that's what you gonna have to pick up with god because i that's it today i really want to implore you like to take a step back even if you're not someone that's putting out like content or putting out pictures or stuff like that maybe you're watching a lot of things and maybe it's time that you retreat and go to the feet of Jesus and ask him, hey, God, I want to I want to be who you called me to be. I want to do what you called me to do. Um, I want to encourage women. I want to encourage single mothers. I want to encourage women that want to be married. I want to like there's room for all of us. And the only way you can be that person is if you start to make time for yourself, for God and for the background stuff. There are things that I have been planning for years that I've never put into practice and I've, I am now finally doing that. 
because I'm starting to say, Angel, you need to have a schedule where you are putting time towards what's important to you. Um, and you need to understand how to balance all of these things together because once you're a mom, girl, everything changes. You know, every single thing changes. Your body changes, your attitude changes, um, your relationship with your husband changes, everything changes. Your relationship with people changes, like everything changes. Um, and even without a baby, like let's just say, just because the time is moving, time creates change. If you're not changing, there's something going on. I'm just saying. Um, but yeah, really pulling away, journaling more. I, I know I said that in my first um, Girl Talk video for the year. Grab a journal, start doing a lot of self-reflection because you need to understand who you are in order to be um, moving in purpose. You know what I'm saying? For a long time, I, I remember there was a season of my life where I was trying to people please more than please my my purpose. Like actually go out and do what God called me to do because I was afraid I was going to hurt them. Um, <clears throat> guys, there's so many deep levels to this. It's like a whole onion. Um, but yeah. That's that's really the gist of this video. Guys, get out, log off sometimes, do a social media fast. Um, the weather is getting warmer. Go outside, smell the fresh air, take a walk, grab your health back into the into your own control. Start eating better, drink more water. I tell you guys all the time, drink water. Water's so good for you, it's so good for your skin, your hair, your nails, everything. Um but yeah, just get that foundation of you back together. Because if you're constantly just watching um, TV or constantly watching social media or constantly scrolling, the whole world's going to move past you. And yeah, you're going to see it happen. But then you're going to wake up one day and you're going to be like, wow, what did I do for myself? And I don't want anyone that ever watches my videos to come on here um, and religiously watch me because that's not my goal here. My goal here is to help you become the best version of yourself internally and externally. I want you to be able to say, yo, there was a season in my life where I just needed someone to pour into me. I came, I watched her videos, I listened to, um, different eBooks or whatever the case is. Um, and now I'm this person who's doing this and I am, encouraging others to do it too i don't want you to be here on my channel forever i mean it'd be great but the real the reality is i want you to be able to grow from this place where you are now and do all the things that your heart desires if it's to travel is if it's to become a mom a wife you know different things like this a beautician you know a hairstylist a photographer you know a nurse whatever it is whatever it is a writer you know that's that's my job i'm just here to encourage you okay and by encouraging you you guys help me by encouraging others i tell you guys all the time my subscriber number is nothing without you guys because you guys also help encourage people with me you guys comment you guys encourage you guys pray i love all my subscribers that pray you guys are bomb um but yeah and so that's what i got for y'all today and if you stick if you have been here this long and been sitting here listening to me as I kind of rant because I've missed you guys and I'm just having a candid girl talk. I'm not perfect. I serve a perfect God, though. Um, I just wanted to be here with you guys. Like I told Emmanuel, I'm like, babe, I just need to be with my girls. <laughs> like I need to be with my girls today on Girl Talk. And so he gave me the house. He was like, OK. I'm not going to ask you nothing. I'm just going to go to the house and do whatever. Blah, blah, blah. And I was like, word. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to hang out with you guys. And if you stayed this long, let me tell you a little story about this car. Y'all, <laughs> it starts on Thanksgiving. So on Thanksgiving, around Thanksgiving, we had went to my mom's house to pick up Thanksgiving food. As many of you guys know, me and Emmanuel dealt with COVID. Um, so we couldn't hug her or anything like that. She left the food on the porch. I grabbed it. No, Manny grabbed it. I stayed in the car. Me and her, we looked at each other from afar. We started crying because it was like one of those things where it's like, oh my gosh, you never realize how real something is until you have it or if someone you love has it. Um, we cried, you know, I was like, mom, I love you. This is, this isn't a death sentence because one of the fears that she had was because she knew I had asthma in the past, she was like. Is Angel battling with anything respiratory? Um, thank God. My symptoms were very mild. Um, 
I didn't have any respiratory issues. I only had a fever, um, some body aches, and then I lost my smell a couple days after. But I only had a fever for a day. Manny had his for two days. Uh, his symptoms were very similar to mine as well. But anywho, as we were driving back to Rhode Island, as soon as we were about to get onto the highway, the wheel on the passenger side dislodges as we're driving Manny's car. So Manny has a Honda. Um, it's used. He bought it outright, so we don't have any payments on it as far as car payments. Um, and it's been great. I love her. She's good, old, faithful. You know, she gets us to point A to point B. I'm someone that I'm not super obsessed with brands or luxury names or anything like that. I just love to do and use things that just help me go to where I need to go and do what I need to do, right? Um, but anywho, so the wheel starts to dislodge. Manny starts to feel the control of the car getting weird, and thankfully there was nobody else on the road with us. We were able to pull over before we entered the highway, and immediately I'm like, okay, God, you just protected us from something extremely, like, something that would have been extremely, like, chaotic and just crazy, right? So Manny's like, get out the car, see, see what's going on with the wheel. I could already tell the wheel's off the axle. And so he starts to reverse, the wheel comes off. I start worshiping God in the middle of the street because I'm like, God, we we would have drove all the way to Rhode Island and God forbid that wheel had came off as we entered into the highway or even like being on the highway. It would have been just, I don't know what I would have done. I probably would have lost it. So I start worshiping God on the streets and Emmanuel's looking at me like, my wife has just lost her mind. And I did for a split second, but I didn't care because I had to worship God. Neither here nor there. Some people are like, oh, that's a bit much. But for me, it could have been something way worse. He just literally came in right at the nick of time. Because you guys don't understand. We were about to merge onto the highway where people drive crazy out here in Massachusetts. Okay? Okay. So, car's broken down. We call call a couple different people long story short we start having the conversation of we need a new car uh, for me i told manny hey buy the pickup truck because we want to invest in a pickup truck um i also love pickup trucks fun fact <laughs> i don't know why i do but i always felt like if i had a pickup truck i would be the person people call like hey you got a truck girl can you come do xyz and i'd be like yeah word um that's just because i love like diys i love doing different things like that i love going to ikea i love going to i just guys you know i'm just a bit much um but anywho i was like babe no we don't have to get the suv yet because we are we had pretty much planned you know our future and cer certain things that we want to get in order to be a successful family um you know especially with family planning our businesses and everything like that so i'm like no babe just get the used truck you know we'll just we'll we'll work it out you know also with the car, previously before Thanksgiving, Manny had brought it to the mechanic to get checked. And the guy said to us, um, nothing was wrong. And he said, maybe the, something's going on with the axle, but it's hard to tell. So neither here nor there. But that was another thing that was a little bit of a stress. Because one of the things that I kept telling Manny and we would talk about was... We don't want to keep putting money into a car that's going downhill versus a car that's being built up, right? So anyway, it's a conversation about a new car happens and, you know, I tell Manny, I'm down for whatever. Uh, if you want to get the truck, get it. If you want to get the um, SUV, get it. You just pull the trigger. I'm in agreement. You know, I'm not picky. Um, so Manny starts doing research and he finds um, some information about car subscriptions. I want to talk more about this in another video, but let's just say if you Google care by Volvo, you'll see what I'm talking about. If you're like someone that's like, oh my gosh, I want to get a new car. Um, Angel, what's going on? So care by Volvo, look it, look it up. If you don't want to get a Volvo, look up car subscriptions. It's a new thing that just started as far as, um, just think like how we pay for Netflix and how it's a flat rate. That's what we, that's what's happening in the car industry. I, I, I want to, oh, just, y'all just know. But anywho, so Manny does his research. He comes across Volvo. He starts talking to me about it. I'm like, yeah, sure. I'm, I'm down, you know. 
Um, and then we see some other companies as well. And so we go and test drive a couple different vehicles. Um, but we kind of already knew which one we wanted to land on, um, which was Volvo because they had one of the best packages ever. And so we go to the dealership, we test drive it, you know, we meet this awesome guy. We like talking to him. He gives us all these, all this information as we're driving home. Manny's like, you want to do it? I'm like, sure. So he gives me his phone and I start signing up through the care by Volvo, um, app application process, whatever. Within like 15 minutes from driving from the dealership to coming home and walking up the steps. Before we walked up the steps, I had already clicked sent to the application. As soon as we got to the top where we are, where we live at, we got the confirmation email. Just like that, we had we had a new car. 15 minutes. We didn't have to go through any car um, salesman. We didn't have to do any of that. We literally, if we didn't even want to test drive the car and we wanted to sign up via our phone, we could have done it just like that. Just like that super easy super quick so we're like wow oh my gosh that was super fast um i think within 15 minutes of that i think manny either calls or got a call from volvo and they were like yeah your car is on the port um uh, i wanted an all black car manny was like not really feeling all black honestly i said it's either black or white we landed on white and so i'm happy honestly that i listened to my husband because i absolutely love this white car um not that i had any like like oh i don't like white cars because x y and z it's more like i love the classic clean look of all black on black cars um manny felt like it looked like i was driving a rental or that we were a car service company and i said okay i understand so Anywho, we landed on white because one of the features of the Volvo is that black top. And so it really highlights that. Guys, can I tell you, this Volvo has been an answer prayer. I literally was reminded one day that there was a day I was sitting in the car and I know I have it written down somewhere and I am going to find the journal. I remember sitting down in the car while Manny was driving us to Boston because we would commute um, for work. And I remember writing down that we would have an SUV. It was going to have heated seats. It was going to have a sunroof. Um, but we were going to pay a price that would blow everyone's mind. And nobody would be able to believe that we pay as much as we do for this car. In this like vibe, feeling, um, I would say deposit, I thought we were going to own the car um, and pay like maybe, I don't know, like $3,000, $4,000 for a uh, current up-to-date car for example when i had i felt like it was in 2019 i had this deposit i told manny like babe when we get our car it's gonna be a brand new car it's not gonna be super old like years old it's gonna be very relevant and very you know new fast forward to where we are today our car is a 2021 it has the heated seats it has the sunroof and it also has all these amazing other features that i will share in the other video that i talk about the car more um but it was everything that I wrote down. It was simple. It wasn't super to like to the detail, but it was super simple. It had what we needed and some. Um, and God just blew my mind because I was like, I remember this. And to be very transparent with you guys, I've only had my license for like two years. So if you're anyone that's been driving for a while or know if you know anything about cars, if you've only been driving for two years, your insurance is going to be pretty high not the case with this um car subscription um we pay a flat rate and it's super affordable for where we're at right now um yes at first i was a little freaked out because i was like oh my gosh i don't want all of these things to rely on manny thankfully god has opened the door for me to pick up more clients and i mean it's doing its thing um if you guys are interested in the work that i do you can go over to my website and you can see all my details there um, I really help people with branding um, and social media, video editing, photos, whatever. Um, but God has opened a door and <laughs> we're allowed to walk through it. Um, when you trust the promises of God and you, if you're obedient and you have faith and you do the work, God will give you everything your heart desires and more. And so I leave you guys with that inspiring testimony. I love you guys. Don't forget that you are beautiful. You are blessed. You are brilliant. God loves you so much. And don't let anyone dim your light. I love you guys. See you guys next time.